July the 2nd, 1983. I made an inquiry with Mr. Davis and the security man from Winn-Dixie as to where my daughter, Leanne Carter, was. Their response was a nodding of the head in a negative manner. I directed a question directly to the gentleman and I said, what is your name? He said, my name is Mr. Davis. I directed a question to the other gentleman and he indicated that he was the security man from Winn-Dixie. I directed a question to them directly and to their face. Where is my daughter, Leanne Carter? Their reply was, you'll have to see the detectives. I walked over and asked the detective if he could tell me where my daughter, Leanne Carter, was. He says, how do you spell her name? I spelled her name. He said, what is your phone number? I gave him my phone number. He then stated that some had been sent to Brandon Community, others to Tampa General, some to St. Joe, some to University Hospital. I left and went to Brandon Community Hospital emergency room and made a request there. If they had my daughter, Leanne Carter, their response was negative. I then returned home, picked up my wife, and we immediately went down to Tampa General Hospital, arriving there at approximately 9.45. We went into the emergency room, was approached by one of the uh, workers there, a uh, directed a question to a social worker as to if she had any information on Leanne Carter, my daughter. Her response was, no, I do not. She indicated that she would go back and check with the sheriff's office detective the officer there at the emergency room. She returned approximately 10, 15 to 20 minutes later, said she had no word. She was unable or did not tell us if my daughter Leanne Carter was in fact at Tampa General or in fact at any of the other hospitals. She indicated that she would go back and further check for us. She returned approximately 20, 15 to 20 minutes later, again with the negative response that she had been unable to reach the detective or the sheriff's officer out at the scene of the fire. She left, again returned approximately 20 minutes to a half an hour indicated that 
They were awaiting the word from the coroner's office, the medical examiner. She left. Approximately 20 minutes to half an hour, she never returned again and told us that a detective from the scene was on the way to the emergency room to see us, to talk to us. My wife and I went outside at the driveway, waited until a detective with the badge on his pocket came in. I asked him if he had just come from the Winn-Dixie store. He said, yes. I said, are you looking for the Carters? He said, yes. I said, we are the Carters. Where is our daughter? He said, I cannot tell you. You'll have to go inside. We accompanied him inside and went to a private office whereby he requested what my, lo my daughter, Leanne Carter, was wearing. We told him that she was wearing, of course, her Winn-Dixie uniform, her class ring from M.D. Collins High School, and a birthstone ring. At this point, we said, or asked him, if our daughter was dead. And he says, yes, she is. This was at approximately 10 minutes after one. We had been there since, been there since, since approximately 9.45. No one would tell us anything. 